everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney, your Art Sherpa, and today is the artist trading card theme for July announcement. And also hop to the design team for awesomeness and creativity because you cannot believe what we have out there. So the first things, first things first. First things what's first. What's the theme? It's medieval. Yes. So pretty much anything from the 11th century to the 16th century, we're going to call that medieval. Because we used to be part of a group called the Society for Creative Anachronism, and that works for us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, just anything that you feel is medieval. It can be fantasy. It can be realistic. It can be historical. You don't have to do historical reenactments. Now, if you check the description below mm -hmm. and the little floating eye card, you're going to see a playlist in the eye card and links below to the design team. The design team are six of my creative friends that I think are kind of awesome. We have the off-kilter crafter. That's Ian. Everybody say hi to Ian. Hi. We have Stephanie from Deliberately Creative. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. We have Tanya, who is our participant from Scotland. That's mm -hmm. Tart and Taz Creates. Way up there. We have Mark from MWB Arts. Mm -hmm. Look, I got that really good. He is a separate artist of Stephanie, their marriage is not related to their participation because like both of them individually as creative people. Mm -hmm. We also have Fancy Nancy, mm -hmm. whom we met, interestingly enough, through the community and at uh, Medicon, which yep. we get another one coming up. So see, sometimes you go to Medicon and you end up on design team. <laughs> and you're just <laughs> awesome. She is awesome. You should definitely check her out. And then last but in no way least is Stephanie from Haleo Back. Now, she does one kind of show on YouTube, which is if you're really into Korean pop music and BTS and all of that, she's your jam. But if you do Twitch, she does live painting streams. And so she does our stuff over there. So if you catch her over there, all the information to follow them. And all of our YouTubers, they've already done this really cool reveal. So, John. Yes. You made some boxes. I did. You made so many boxes. I made a few. I, I was actually, the truth is, I didn't actually get to do as much as I wanted to. No, because John creatively has this thing we like to call feature creep. No, <laughs> it's not. It is. His imagination is Disney big. He's like, let's go as big as we can go. And it ends up being really beautiful work. And you've got to go by and see what he did. He was like hand shaving wood and refitting metal parts that weren't made for, even though they Supposedly, I don't know if you've ever done this, like things are supposedly made for a thing, but then you get them and they don't. Castings. Well, it's, you, you get castings that are, um, they're bulk castings. And so sometimes they have to require fitting and stuff to make it all work. So he had a lot of fitting and a lot of hand tooling and a lot of hand work. And I have to honestly say, I, this was one he wanted to do himself, so we let this be his thing. And guess who was the supporter of Design Team? Mm -hmm. One of my very favorite, most awesome, Excellent com com uh, companies, Holbein Acrylics. And they made sure that acrylic gouache, complete, full sets, were in each a box. Now, these things are really, really cool because they are like a gouache and they'll lay down like a gouache. They're opaque, they lay on top of each other. But one of the issues that you have with traditional historical gouache is that when you do white lining on top, sometimes colors can come up through and impact your white lining. So if you were doing scribal work, I'm not saying I was in the SCA. This is not historically period accurate, but it's highly effective, beautiful stuff. This comes in primaries. Let me show you the tubes and everything. Oh, let's see so here. every design team member got a set of these, but their boxes each were themed to their personality. So you got oh, your primary wait, magenta. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. Let me do it here. Wait, hold on, yeah, because you two seconds after Prime, the I can do it like this. Work. I'm good. I'm like, I could be on QVC. Primary magenta, primary yellow, primary can, oh, cyan, and black and white. Well, I think I can. Oh, okay. There it is. There huh. it is. And if you give me just two seconds, what I can do is even this. I can go position, rotation. So there those are. I just would have been fine hands, but that's what those are. These are really beautiful sets. They're incredible. We wouldn't be letting our design team be subjected to them unless they were the best of the best of the best. Sir, I am right now testing Gold Holbein's Golden Gesso. The Golden Gesso, which I super recommend in every conceivable way. It's like so amazing. I don't, I don't, we're on the palette. I don't. Oh, just... So anyways, <laughs> so the, the theme is medieval. Yes. Right. Holbein. 
right? Who does watercolor? They do acrylic. They do with it. Well, let's 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 just own it. They do pigment. Mm, yes. So you'll hear me say there are the companies that have pigment and the companies that don't, and it's actually really true. And this is one of the companies that's very serious about color and really loves to just pump the saturation. Um, I'm using them a lot on my IGTV IGTV videos for uh, the watercolors. They're just amazing. And these little sets, when you get with the primaries, then you don't, you can always add to it. But these particular set of primaries, you know how sometimes yellow and blue don't make green? These do make green. Hmm. You can mix a lot. Like, it's it's a crazy color challenge. I'll have to do one sometime. Where how many colors can I mix with these primaries? Because it's a lot. And if you like that type of work, and because it's medieval, we had to send gouache. But, you know, we did it with a little technological improvement twist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So everybody give love to Holbein for yes, supporting thank you that. Guys. That was, we really appreciate it because it's goofy, goofy, goofy artery. And what I would say is, uh, I'd expect, say a special thank you to Tim, who really understands kind of our artistic dorkery. And they've been, as a company, they've been very supportive. They've sent out a lot of product to like our Made It Con. They came and stocked you guys with a whole bunch of stuff to come play with. So just in general, they they understand us, and we as a company really appreciate, appreciate that. that. They're one of the they're one of the good guys. Yeah, definitely. So. They are really actually one of the good guys. Like seriously. Yeah. Um, and so that was really fantastic. So hopefully, design team, you've got to go to every video and see what they got because John themed each box to each individual person. Each one is completely different. I hope everybody was just delighted when they opened it and saw that they they had something that considered them. We're going to keep trying to push that uh, as we can. I, it was so wonderful to get the support uh, in the art side of it this month because that let us really put our time, energy, and finances into these boxes. Yeah, really is. And if you're doing ATCs, I highly recommend acrylic gouache as something to have in your tool set, especially if you like to work in your watercolors, but you want to do opaque layering over the top. And I'm just going to say, I've had a few illuminated scrolls, and uh, since Cinnamon illuminated a little tiny scroll ATC size with this, if you're doing these, it's beautiful. So anyway, just, you know, awesome. Just, you know. Kind of amazing. Just plug it in there if you're doing any scribal scroll work. Just, you know, just saying. So I understand if you're in the SCA, you got it. But I would just use Holbein's regular gouache, which is much more historically accurate, and they have a lot of historically accurate colors. Just saying. So you know that. You know, if you, you know. do illumination, yeah. that, that's a thing. Now. We oh. decided to do an unboxing of our own oh, as a nice. treat to the community who came by for this strange video. You guys ready for a treat? You want to see? Would you like to see the vault of dorkery? Oh, no. Here we go. You ready for the vault of dorkery? <gasps> oh! <laughs> and that's why Cinnamon's off frame this entire time so we can see her now. All right, so what you see there is me at the Texas Renaissance Festival. I am, is this in the Armory? Who made this? Is it Armory? Uh, I think that's um, the, uh, the, something love, something to light. No, that's not Heart's Delight. That's from the Armory. We got that at Gulf, oh, Gulf War. that's right. That's I'm, right. I'm, I've, got the, I've got the House of Draw Hat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I had the Draw Hat. No chickens were harmed in the making of her hats. Apparently, she goes out and just follows her chickens and collects feathers that drop. This is. If you go by the Texas Renaissance Festival, these are her hats. She hand makes these. There are none like them on the planet. My mother-in-law collects them, and we've all, I think I have two now. Mm. And try to touch them. Try them. <laughs> They're my babies. So I have my house of dry hat. And I have my, um, I think it's something armory, medieval armory. or mm, Yeah. I'd have to look at it. It's a tunic. It's an 11th century little tunic thing with some nice finishing. And then my daughter, uh, she didn't want to go for period wear that day, so she went princess. Which is, I think, very period. It's okay for the Texas Renaissance Festival because you can come as a stormtrooper. They, they'll let you do that because who knows when that happens, right? So we're like, okay, sure, a stormtrooper could be medieval. Why not? Because that's how we do it in Texas. That's how we do. <laughs> oh! There's All me. right. Draw hat dress I made. John's tunic. I don't remember where it came from. That amber is real. And yes, he has lost that much weight. Yeah. That's at ye old time photos. Which is <laughs> okay. Uh, honey's dress there and hat I made. That's honey. I made that. We go. Um, if you go to the Texas Renaissance Festival, there is a photography booth. Uh, Whimsy Moon. Mm -hmm. Just stop everything you're doing and go in there and get pictures taken. Brad and Heather are the jam, and so I would make costumes every year for all of us to go. 
and be photographed. And the feathers behind Honey is is my mother in law. <laughs> you can't see her because she saves the biggest hats for herself from draw. And she made a huge portion of her costume, but I think I helped with some part of that. I don't remember. But Honey is entirely mine. There's an entire floral arrangement at the back of that. Yeah, there was. There's and uh, I hand fit her bodices, and I, I would make the dresses and then um, hand dye them. And then I made that whole hat because I could not buy the kid a draw hat. So. And I kind of think I nailed that hat. First of all, let's take a minute and notice that <laughs> I nailed yeah. it. You nailed did. it. On that show, you guys want me on that show? Are you sure? Because I can make those cakes. Show me a tutorial. I'll make that cake. Nailed it. And she even has sporting the medieval unicorn face paint. Huzzah. (laughs) All right. There is Spider's outfit. This is Spider is a baby. And I made his baby outfit. He was a little wood elf. And his butt was very fluffy Mm -hmm. and had many leaves. And I made his whole hand dyed his thing. And there's Linda. And again, biggest hat for herself. Okay, this is me in my historically accurate garb <laughs> that was um, made by, like, the most incredible seamstress in the SEA, or at least in my opinion, this is Diane. And she would, do you would give her these things and she'd make you, like, an Elizabethan with the... She, she made the... She, almost everything I'm wearing throughout yeah. this was hers. Yeah. Like, the, what you saw earlier, you were pointing out, all that stuff was, was done by her. Yeah, there's the armory piece again. Uh, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, and we're all in our chicken hat. So... Easy to find us at the Renaissance Festival for there. Look for the feathers. Notice my hat, my hat's the least flower. Okay, so this here. Okay, thank you. I made both of these. Uh, this is my daughter, Honey, and her bestie best, Lily. And the first year that we um, got to do the uh, Whimsy Moon uh, photography. Winter Moon? Winter Moon. Um, I should know the booth number. Brad and Heather. So. I made these outfits for them so they could be little fairies together and we got pictures of them and they just went around and, and cuted up the Renaissance Festival in a way that just like broke my heart. It was so beautiful. All right. This is my baby. <laughs> Can you tell how the thing I got I do here? I could have had a weird costuming channel, but chose not to, <laughs> chose to teach y'all how to paint. But I do some strange costuming and She's actually, this is one of my very favorite photographers in the entire world. She, she does a bunch of fairy photos. You've probably purchased some of her calendars. She's here locally in Texas. And this was a nursery gift from a wealthier friend of mine <laughs> than me. Much wealthier than me. <gasps> there it is. You can see the full dress. All right. So there's John and his pen dragon. That's actually what he got uh, married in. He's in his pen dragon with his boots and everything. And I'm in my Elizabethan. Yeah. Girlfriend used to be skinny chick. <laughs> so I think that maybe for your kids. Oh, and there is myself. Um, That's, it, this is some the, buffoonery. There's the, just we no were, way around that. This is an SCA event, which <laughs> was. Uh, the quest for the really good mug. The quest for the really good mug. The quest for the really good mug. I stole somebody's At, copyright thing. I'm super sorry. I didn't even see that later. I was like, look, there I am from this event. And, and there's Kevin, my friend Kevin Walsh. Hey, Kevin, he was, he was wearing uh, my heraldry. Please don't hit me with the takedown. I was I'm really sorry. You should go follow her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I didn't make that. That is a heart's delight. That is a heart's delight, yeah. That is a heart's delight, which is sort of your basic, uh, you've got to have your bodice and your layered skirt garb so I, I need to explain to everybody what's going on here because they're, they're you quest for the really okay. good mug so what's happening here is cinnamon <laughs> oh my is, God. uh she's jo- she's actually uh, doing jousting practice so she has her lance out i think is he my rings. horse what's happening yeah, and and kevin behind her is her steed and yeah. he has a, a pair of coconuts he's so, got to clap together or something and and he was making sure that he had to keep pace and if if he didn't keep pace then um she couldn't actually do jousting this is actually a pretty good pretty good little funny uh, thing so that was, uh, <laughs> was back I think day. I was still nursing here which is like I got to tell you right now nursing and being in one of these getups is not it's not well advised <laughs> and there is my cootie patootie in my full yeah I hand painted those wings I stretched those little suckers. Um, Bella's this thing. I was one of the first people that did the no tie tutus and um, the no so tutus. And so this is this is what happens when um, I'm not on YouTube all the time. I make this stuff. <laughs> and there's another piece that I made. Is she not super and over cute? She she was there. That's the quest for the really good bug too. Yep, that is. Yeah, I'm I. And there you guys are. Longer. Okay, okay. All right. 
So here is myself and Honey, again, made. And uh, I think the what I'm wearing is a heart's delight. And there is my friend Tasha and her gorgeous daughter, Lily. She made her garb as well because she is also very talented and scribal and does all that. And that's how we ended up being friends is like, we did the illumination together and the clothing together. And then we had girls about the same time. And you know how you do. Uh, if you went to Made a Kind, you get to meet my friend. Here is John sporting oh, his honey. amber and his leather and little honey explaining to him something very important about pretzels. Yes. Before, I don't know, what were we about to go do? Period pottery? Uh, we were going to go dig a hole in the ground, weren't we? And oh, that's right. Pottery. Yeah, no, casting. Did I do we cast? were casting? I think it was casting. That's right. We were carving the stones and casting. So we were going to do, like, so during this event, there's this thing called Gulf War. <laughs> Not the one that you're probably thinking of. No, different no. Gulf, Gulf Coast. Golf course war. And so basically it's Texas and who goes to war with who and who? Uh, well, so Louisiana, Florida, Arkansas. We all kind of get together. There's there's several kingdoms. They get together. on Steora is where we're from. About yeah, four to 6,000 people. Is that about right? Uh, I think yeah. it's four to six. It might yeah. be 10. Uh, well, I, oh, no, no. It wasn't that big. If you go four up north, uh, I, I, I know that we had thousands. No, of, I think it's four to six because yeah. they did some aerial photography. So basically the south, <laughs> when we're not doing things that the south does, we like to put on... You may not know this if you live on the coast and you think, oh, well, they're from the South. They do South things. Uh, there's nothing more Southern than dressing up in medieval stuff and go hitting your friends with sticks. It is it's just true. what we did. I was, I was definitely into doing that. Do you love her headpiece? <laughs> I mean, this dude. Here's just, some feathers. <laughs> they got little arm pieces and she had to fan herself because she was feeling uh, very special. I love, I love these pieces and there I've got my embroidered turnic and uh, no, that's not my real hair. Because, uh, girlfriend, I like when I say I've worn a piece for a long time, I have. I love the piece that Tasha's wearing. She looks so cute. It's such a pretty blue. But that we'd walk around. And see, this is why it's an anachronism. So here we are, pretty decked up, making an attempt at period garb and walking past all the cars. And then there's this one bit of it. I wish we had a, it's a deep storage of my daughter in this coat, the fur coat for a night. But I made it so heavy that she'd that walk anymore. and then fall over. And then oh, yeah. walk and fall over. But it had a hood. And it, so, like, it was, like, padded. So she just thought it was super funny that the coat was too big for her and too heavy. <laughs> she couldn't go anywhere. So you go to this event, Gulf War, for about four or five days. And there's jousting. And there's period uh, arts and crafts. And you eat medieval food. And basically, my whole deal, guess what? I got up every day. I think I lost, like, 10 pounds. And walked to the coffee shop to be like, this is my period coffee. There's us. You could do some falconry. If you needed to do that, uh, you'd dye some woad, you do some scribal. And the reason scribal is such a big thing in the SCA is that they give awards and they're all hand-painted scrolls that are gifted to the uh, members of the community. And so volunteers have to come paint things. So somewhere out there, people have hand-painted scroll work by me. Oh, my <laughs> and gosh. And John yeah. and I at the Renaissance Festival. So when we tell you that we're kind of goofy. We are. And, yeah. And I don't think it's going to get any any better. I think no. I'm going to have to get back in corsets. What I'm going to say about a good corset, especially good boned Elizabethan corset, is that is back support. <laughs> you don't got to worry about your core at all. It is your core. It's like woman armor. I am fine. I just can't twist my torso. <laughs> so those are just a tiny smattering of pictures. <laughs> We, of the thousands that we have, it's just what I could scrape off the internet you know, today. What you should take from this is that we are inspired creators, and the the stuff we've spent to our design, or the stuff we've sent out to design team, is worth going and looking at. Please visit every single video. Links description below. They're all different. card, and you can see each box that John hand made, and maybe you can kind of guess why he did the themes the way that he did, and did the little elements that he did. Oh, it, does anyone want to join the Artist Trading Club design team? Oh, yes. Not design team, but like trade artist trading cards with us. I already have my design team. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them to them. I have them. They're my, they're my team. But we could, join, we, could come, we could come just be, be in, a, in the carding club. Yes. So basically what this is, if you don't know, is these are tiny little two and a half by three and a half paintings that we do by hand. Each month we have a theme and we swap them with our friends around the world. Oh, little Yes, John has a whole little collection. It's little pieces of art about this little size range. And John has a big, big collection. Oh, let's grab a Stephanie uh, Barlow because she does these cool little transparent ones where she does pores. 
you could get one of these from Stephanie. And you could get one of the cards by the members of our design team because they're in the swap too. And you can get a card from me. Like this, this is Mark. He's in our design team. You could get a card from him. Could be a jaunty little unicorn. I don't know. John is like showing you. Ah, perhaps a spider web you would like. So this is a thing. You can join it for free. You can do one card for free, right? And you just include your stamp and you can swap. There's I really a like them. Paid group, which is really, this group just is basically, we do try to tell them the theme a little early, and they do get to swap two cards, but the real honest truth when you guys are going, you know, about between paid and freeze, the paid team is really helping support John and I do the swap because it's it's many days, it's labor intensive, it it, it is not profitable. No. <laughs> and, and um, which we don't care, fine. That's great. We love doing this. We love doing this. Um, really love doing this. But we couldn't do it without the support. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is through the, this is fantastic. This is Jackie Isbell. This is like amazing, guys. So this is the kind of art you get. I have a nice collection. It is a, yeah, no, you have a beautiful collection of art. <laughs> uh, this, this is a gift. Uh, this is, this is Nancy. Nancy yeah, Nancy, Nancy does Nancy. these. Um, she has a whole video on how to make these. Here's the thing. You can see how she ended up on design team, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, is it's this kind of creativity. It's pen pals around the world for grownups, but we do, you know. If you are uh, swapping for your kid, we do have some kids in the swap. It is a fantastic way to collect art. It is a fantastic way to connect as a human being in the real world. It is, um, it, it's just something that I think is good for our heart and our soul, which is why John and I put the effort into it that we do. Um, and we're so grateful for every member design team. There's a link to the website um, version. I mean, you can see videos and also meet the team again. There's also a Facebook group where people share. I, I would say, though, that this is so social. Yeah, this is for fun. Right? And no, you don't have to be like, epic artist. We have all levels of artists swapping. And yeah. we do not swap by, like, that hierarchy um, where, like, you know, premier artists only swap with premier artists. It's like it's a swap. It's, it's getting to know each other, and we collect. And then hopefully at events like Made It Con, where we're going to have design team stuff and, and um, ATC stuff, we're going to be lo doing live swaps and stuff like that. I'm just hoping it's a way that's like that we can break the barrier of the video and the computer and connect to each other in that way that we used to as beings. Hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Plus we collect art. So this is our design team announcement video and your reward was our dorkery. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. We have a really huge crowd out there, by the way. Thank you for coming. But like, uh, like you guys coming and hanging Aren't out. Aren't you talk glad you came to see the ridiculousness? Thank you for coming and sharing our dorkdom. We want to see you guys at the easel really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>